Fair project is Venus hotter than Mercury. Okay, so see the solar system here? We have all nine planets. The Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. So which one is closer to the Sun, Mercury or Venus? Mercury. That's right. So do you think Mercury should be hotter? Yes, it's close to the sun, so it should be. But that's not, you're wrong. Oh, that's really? not true. Okay. Be because of the greenhouse effect. When the sun's <coughs> rays go, it, it, when the sun's rays hit Venus, it can go in, but it can't go out because of the atmosphere that's made up of CO2. It, which makes Venus very hot. My hypothesis was the temperature inside the Venus plus CO2 jar, which is this one, would be the highest and the temperature in both Venus jars will be higher than the Mercury jar. What you need is three thermometers for each container, three glass jars, two lids, three small jars that are small enough to fit inside the jars, baking soda, white vinegar, one quaker watch, a sun lamp, and paper and pencil. The process is mercury jar. Place one small jar and one thermometer and leave inside and leave the jar uncovered. It represents Mercury with, without an atmosphere. Venus jar number two. Place one small jar and one thermometer inside a seat inside and seal the jar with the lid. It represents Venus that has an atmosphere, the lid. Venus plus CO2 jar. Place one small jar that has some vinegar inside, which I'm going to show you. Place the vinegar inside. Okay. And one thermometer inside. Next. I better close it. So you put two tablespoons, or you can, don't add too much, oh, also I mentioned, I didn't mention to use the funnel, because that would take too long, so then you add them, there's your carbon dioxide starting, and if you add too much, you have too much carbon dioxide, whoa, you that, the lid on it, what would happen, it would explode, come out. <laughs> It's really weird. Is it that supposed to happen there? This is kind of weird. So you can set the baking soda aside for a bit. Don't need it anymore. And immediately place on the top. You gotta place on the top. As soon as the mixture folds up, it is creating CO2. Seal the jar with the lid. Otherwise, it might get out in the spam, it won't work. Turn on your sun lamp. I better turn on the sun lamp. Now, I'm gonna, I gotta make sure that this is all the same, so we we'll start from the dot. So, start there. Should be the tip from the eraser to the tip, touching the jar. So it's about from the dot for every angle. So I'm checking to make sure that the weight will work. So I'm about to place it the same. That's good. Now I. 
out when I have to set the time for 10 minutes. Record the readings on all the thermometers. When the, the temperature does not go up or down, it's stable. Turn off the sun lamp and continue recording for another two to three minute times every 10 minutes. So the data was, from the experiment data, the temperature increased to read in the mercury jar, which you'll find the red line, three degrees in the Venus jar, stay hot longer, which is the green one, and five degrees in the Venus plus CO2 jar, which is the purple line. The results prove that our hypothesis is, is right. The greenhouse gas CO2 traps more heat. A simple trapping of heat happens in Venus's atmosphere. Venus is hotter than Mercury because it has much, a much thicker atmosphere that is made up of CO2. Now, can you please come back in 30 minutes? Sure.